Hi guys, this is going to be a quick video on how to trigger yourself for a potential airdrop for ZK Sync, which is the uh, ZK roll-up solution to help scale Ethereum. So I'm going to run through the different actions you can do to give yourself the best chance of getting an airdrop in this ecosystem. Hi, my name is Michael and I help new and experienced investors create profit and build wealth from cryptocurrency investing. So if that sounds like it might be of interest to you, then please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to get any of my future videos. So firstly, you want to go to wallets.zksync.io, wallets.zksync.io, and you want to connect up your Ethereum wallet. And the first thing you want to do is bridge some tokens across from the main net Ethereum to the uh, basically the ZK roll-up network. So I already have done this. I sent $100, $100 of ETH across. I did this previously in a, in a previous video. But yeah, you just click add funds, click select token, choose the amount. You'll then be able to, um, well yeah, choose the token, then choose the amount, add funds. You will have to pay a gas fee. So try and do that when, that when the gas costs are a little bit lower. That will bridge your tokens across. That, that should trigger you for the airdrop. However, there are probably two other actions you can do to qualify yourself for an airdrop as well. It, I'm not going to look at the, the Mint NFT one because it is a bit tricky. It talks about um, having to um, you know, uh, store a file on a particular file system or whatever. So I don't think this is going to be required to get the airdrop. The next thing you want to do is actually the testnet. So this, go to uni.zksync.io. This is the testnet for ZK Sync. And so when you go to um, uh, add it here, it will ask you to add a new network, ZK Sync Wrinkle Test Network. So you just simply switch to that network. Um, it should switch automatically. There you go. And then what you want to do is execute a swap on this test network. Now, when you first move across, you won't have any tokens because it is a test network, but you can ch click this button here to request tokens. And what it'll ask you to do is to basically just tweet. Um, and you can remove this tweet after you do it. It's basically just you know, just tweet it and you, you, you get some, some test tokens. It's pretty much just click t tweet. It should happen fairly instantly. I did try this a few weeks ago and it was erroring for me, but it does seem to be working now. You can see here that it says successfully claimed. So you can delete the tweet there if you don't want to uh, keep that up. And hit OK and I'll just give you some, some tokens here, some test tokens, so 300 USDC. So you can just do a swap, so USDC to die, for example. Go to move those across. You'll have to allow the protocol to use your USDC. Sign that transaction. You'll see the exchange rate doesn't look the look quite right in this testnet. If you if you understand these two tokens, they're both US pegged to US dollars, so it's a bit a bit out of whack here. But look, it's a testnet; it doesn't really matter too much. All we need to do is just execute a one transaction. So I'm just gonna wait that, wait for that to provide us with the swap button again. Here we go, click swap, click confirm swap. We'll sign the transaction. Obviously it looks a lot like Uniswap this one. Sign the transaction, and then that should execute our swap. There you go, it says congratulations, just made your first swap in ZK Sync 2.0, da da da. So that's it, that's the second task. A third task I'd recommend to do is on a exchange called Zigzag. So go to trade.zigzag.exchange. And this is basically a trading system um, on top of um, ZK Sync. So what you, what you want to do here is just execute a, a, a swap on the spot market. Um, and this will be with our actual funds on ZK Sync. It's not the test net, this is the real funds. And that will also trigger us for a potential airdrop for Zigzag. So we click connect wallet. Um, you will need to switch this to the Ethereum network, which I found is quite interesting. Um, you do need to sign a transaction there as well. So you are on the Ethereum network, yet it appears to actually be using the uh, ZK Sync network. I'll just sign that again. It does cost you about $15 down here, a one-time transaction. And yeah, you'll see that you are on the Ethereum network in MetaMask. However, you're on the ZK Sync mainnet here. And yeah, it's basically you can execute trades on, on top of this, which is pretty cool because it's pretty pretty instant. So I've got 0.02 ETH here. And so I can just say, oh, well, I'm gonna send sell half of that to USDC. So you can do USDC, I could sell to USDT, 
there's, you can also swap between USDC and, uh, and USDT. So I'm just gonna swap from some USD, uh, from ETH to USDT. I'll just do about 50% of that. So I'll click sell. It says order pending, we need to sign that. We'll click sign. And we'll wait and see if this executes for us. Should happen fairly quickly on this on this network, on ZK Sync. Okay, you'll see that this uh, went through, but I actually have to do two transactions. The first one did fail, was rejected. It just said, just put it through again, it should be fine. So I did and, and it is fine. So uh, we'll see now, they've got about $46 in, in USD. Uh, I ended up moving it to USDT instead of USDC. And the rest of it in ETH. So you've executed a swap here, so this should make you eligible for uh, a token for ZigZag uh, if and when they do release one. So that's it for ZK Sync. They're the three things that I'd recommend that you do in order to um, give yourself a chance at the ZK Sync um, airdrop and also the ZigZag airdrop. I hope that's been useful. Thank you.